I would like to show you how a really cool third-party keyboard called Reboard works on iOS. It's a keyboard where you can give different commandos to search the web for images, links and much more. So, for example, if I click on the Reboard icon like that and then type my name, Swatling, and then you can see different icons up here. So if I click on the search icon, I get search results from different sites and so on that my name is mentioned. So for example, my own site, Swartling Network, my Twitter account, Flickr, Google+, YouTube, and much more. So that was just one example. I can also click on images and it collects the images that I have blogged and so on, posted on Google Plus and much, much more. So these images is images that I have posted on the internet, for example. And uh, if I click on YouTube, I get links to my YouTube videos, for example. So this is really impressive. So for example, if I want to use this video, then I click on it and I get these options. I can insert the link into the text I'm writing at the moment. I can open it in YouTube, open in browser or copy link. So if I click on insert link here, then you can see I have a YouTube link to that video in my text. That's very useful if you're blogging on your iOS device like I do, for example. So if I only want to see links in Google from my own website, Swatling Network, I can do like this. I click on the reboard icon and then I type site. Swatling dot net and then for example post about Apple Watch. Now if I click on the search icon again I can see posts about the Apple Watch from my own website. And this is really, really useful because if I want to use a link to that blog post directly in the text I'm writing at the moment, I can click on that and choose insert link or copy link, for example. So I can insert the link here. As you can see, there is a link to that blog post about the Apple Watch directly in the text I'm writing. And the same with images. If I want to see images that I have posted and want to use them in my blog post, I can do like this. I click on the reboard icon and type Swart Ling uh, Apple Watch. I hope I have some images about the Apple Watch. But after writing what I want to see, I can click on the image icon. And as you can see here, for example, that image is that image and that image is from my own images. I have blogged from my own Apple Watch and my own arm, as you can see there. So if I want to use this in my blog post, I can click on that image and I can copy the image or insert the image in the app I'm using at the moment or I can copy link to the image and that's pretty cool because if I click on the copy link I can go into my editorial my favorite app when blogging for example and start a new blog post uh, like this and then I have a command on now that I have a link to an image in the clipboard on my iPhone 6s plus I can insert that and format that in my post by using this commando I write 
like this. Uh, in editorial, I have a command for uh, inserting an image and clicking on that. Then the link I had in the clipboard gets pasted and formatted in HTML code. So if I want to see how this looks now, I can see the image directly in my blog post. The same image I copied with Reboard. So now I can write the text below here and do a blog post. Really, really useful. And as you can see, you have a lot of different options you can do. You can use a calculator and much, much more Wikipedia search, YouTube links and music and much, much more here. So uh, you can even search for GIFs, as you can see there. Search your cloud storage and Dropbox and much more. And uh, you can uh, add to calendar and much, much more here. So uh, this app, a third party keyboard called Reboard is very useful if you create content on your iOS device like I do. So I can highly recommend the Reboard app. I will link to that in the description text of this video. So go check it out. Okay, bye.